What's going on, YouTubes? What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are all doing good, getting ready for a good weekend. I know I am. Um, this is just a taste of what's to come. I, go I am going to one of my good friend's bachelor parties tomorrow. Heading down to AC. Starts at 4.30. Uh, gonna go get to AC by, like, hopefully 5.30-ish, something like that. And, uh, you know, go out to dinner, drinks, and then, uh, I, th I think the strip club or something. His, his best man texted me and said, alright, dude, the hotel room is 100 bucks, and the dancers were all pitching in 40 So, I don't know if we're getting, like, dancers in a hotel room or we're going out for dancers or what's going on but sounds like a um, sure sign of a good time wait where's the Bud Light uh, <laughs> I know I'm corny but anyway guys Land Shark and some tequila this is delicious tequila most people would actually probably um, kill me for mixing this because this is I think like a $70 bottle of tequila but I didn't pay for it so Whatever. Um, but, yeah, this is delicious. It's called the Loaded Land Shark. It's absolutely amazing. One of my favorite summer drinks, if not my favorite summer drink. Um, but, yeah, so I've been drinking the past couple nights, a couple drinks, just to uh, get my tolerance back up to uh, back up to form. Over last summer when I started, when I first started making videos, oof, you know, me and my roommate, we could, we could wreck some, uh, we could wreck it some nights. Drink, uh, you know, split a whole bottle of whiskey, have some beers, stuff like that. Uh, but now, I'm a working man in the real world with real responsibilities and shit tons of work that doesn't stop. Whew, tolerance got way down, you know. The other night I was hanging out with my friends. Uh, I had a couple of drinks, honestly. I'm going to sound like a little bitch, but I had a couple of drinks, three, five drinks, and I was buzzed. It definitely felt a little bit, and I was like, oh my goodness. This is this is NG, NG boys. Uh, so just trying to build the tolerance back up a little bit, because at the bachelor party, you know, as as much as you can say you want to go down there and be controlled, <laughs> you know you're not gonna be. You know nobody's gonna be. Um, nobody that we're taking anyway. <laughs> so trying to get the tolerance up so I don't get retarded or I don't get stupid by like the uh, you know seventh you know six seventh drink maybe it'll be like the ninth tenth drink. Uh, you know, could save a life. <laughs> but anyway, um, just wanted to point out this hoe back. I had forgot to do it the other day, but you can see there's still like tape and shit on the knife. I actually cut up some more stuff today, uh, processed some more cardboard. Um, the other cardboard I threw out cause it was recycling that whole box. Um, you know, I processed a couple priority mailboxes and some other stuff outside. Uh, you know, some... Some nasty cardboard stuff, not the, uh, you know, not the prettiest stuff. I can, I would definitely assume some blades would be dull, or not, maybe not dull, but not shaving sharp. But it's funny, this one fifty, the CPM one fifty four, man. Oh, let's see. That's where I was doing a lot of the cutting. I mean, there you go. I mean, this is. I mean, that was that's even short hairs that's popping off. Uh, shaving sharp, guys. I am one hairy SOB. There you go. So you just shave that patch right there. I want to, like, shave a whole part of my arm off just because, you know, I, I, I kind of want to look good for tomorrow, you know. I don't want to be in, you know, nice dark jeans, button-up shirt, looking all good, but have, like, a chunk of hair missing out of my arm. You know, that I'm pretty sure that might turn some strippers off. Although, I don't think they're real people anyway, so. <laughs> Funny story. And strippers, if you're watching this, um, I mean no offense by it, and you probably won't get it anyway. But uh, actually, PM me if stripper, if you guys are strippers and you're watching this video, please PM me. Um, if you guys are dating strippers and watching this, you know what I'm talking about. I don't mean any offense. <laughs> but my uncle, thankfully, bless his soul, owns I guess what you call a go-go bar. It's not like a straight-up strip club. Because it is a bar, and they serve alcohol, and, you know, the women don't get fully naked, leave some panties on. But, uh, he told me well, a little while ago, you know, Marty, he's like, dude, you know, he's like, I don't understand why people want to get involved with strippers. 
He's like, the, he said, you know, you know what strippers are? He's like, you know what they're like? They're like a Christmas gift. You know, Christmas morning, you come downstairs, you see a nicely wrapped Christmas present, beautifully wrapped Christmas present, but there's just nothing inside. <laughs> Uh, that was funny to me. The way he said he said it a lot better. He said it a lot better. Let's give him some credit, all right? But oh, hilarious. Like a like a beautifully wrapped Christmas present but nothing inside. <laughs> all right, guys. So, I'm going to be intoxicated um at a service at a commission tomorrow night. So, taking, you know, probably no video tomorrow, giving you guys a little break so you don't have like 3 days in a row of this hoe back here. But definitely going to do a full review. Probably going to be like 15 minutes long on this hoe back sometime next week. Alright. And if you guys uh, want me to do any videos, shoot me a comment. Post a PM something. Or post a comment, shoot me a PM. Either way, I don't care. So yeah, uh, I just wasted six minutes. We, I'm waiting for somebody to come over anyway. No big deal. I will catch you later, guys. Be good. Hopefully this isn't bo boring. If you've never tried this, try it. It's delicious. All right, later, guys. Peace out. I keep missing the damn stop button.